वॉट डू यू डू वॉट डू यू डू दिस क्वेश्चन मीन्स वॉट इज योर जॉब और प्रोफेशन वेन एवर एनी वन आक्स यू वॉट डू यू डू दैट मीन्स दैट पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू नो अबाउट योर प्रोफेशन और वॉट काइंड ऑफ जॉब यू आर डूइंग लेट्स एक्सप्लोर द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन दैट यू कैन गिव I am a student. You will say, I am a student. If you are a student, I work in a bank. I work in a corporate. I work in a MNC. That is monthly national company. I am unemployed at the moment. If you are not working, I run my own business. Now, when will you say I run my own business? When you are running a business by yourself. the word run means you are the primary person responsible for operating the business that means that the whole business is run by you i am retired now i used to be an engineer retired means you have stopped working usually after you are 60 or 65 years old so these are the potential answer that can, that you can give whenever anyone asks you what do you do Let's move forward. Now the next question is why are you studying English? Why are you studying English? Now anyone can come and ask you, right? Why are you studying English or whatever subject? So let's explore the potential answer of to this question. I study English for work. I study English so I can communicate when I travel. I study English because I love learning new languages. I am studying English because I would like to immigrate to the US. I am studying English because I am thinking of studying in England. The correct way is thinking of studying and not thinking to study. Always keep this in mind. Okay? you will not say i am thinking to study in england you will always say i am thinking of studying in england this is the correct way so whenever anyone asks you question like this these are the potential answer that you can give to that person so let's move on to the next question now the next question is where or how did you learn english where or how did you learn english the answer to this question will be i took classes for 3 years or maybe you can say 4 5 whatever the years maybe you can say that i did an intensive course i have been studying on my own you can also say studying by myself both are absolutely correct let's see i have been studying by myself I picked it up from movies and songs. In this context, picked it up means learned it casually. Always remember you are using picked it up when you meant that the thing which you are doing you did it casually or easily, okay, without much effort. My girlfriend taught me. Here you can also say my boyfriend taught me, my husband taught me. my wife taught me my brother taught me my mother taught me my teacher taught me my family taught me my neighbor taught me whatever whoever helped you to learn english you can take that person name now let's move forward to the next question can i help you do you need any help if anyone asks you question like this can i help you or do you need any help now how to answer this first of all let's understand the question this is a question that you might hear from an employee or sales person in a store okay or it may be used anyway okay most probably it might be used by a employer or sales person or where you are in a supermarket you are looking for something you are not getting it the person sale person may might come to you and ask that can i help you or do you need any help a teacher can also ask a mother can also ask but let's explore the answer to this question what are the answer that we can give to this particular question 
the first answer we can give is no thanks i am just browsing when you don't need a help right you can just give this simple answer no thanks i am just browsing browsing means looking casually at the items now this is a good term that you can add to your vocabulary right whenever you are looking like this without an intention to buy you can use this word browsing okay so no thanks i am just browsing next answer you can do if you need a help you can say yes do you have this in a larger size yes do you have this in a larger size if you need a smaller size you can say yes do you have this in a smaller size yes where are the try on room yes where are the try on rooms this can also be your answer what are try on rooms means the place where you can put on the clothes to see if they are the right size and if you like them so why we will say try on room when you want to really try that dress or you liked it and you want it yeah can you tell me how much this is yeah can you tell me how much this is yeah i am looking for something under dollar 30 Now look here the price can change upon the situation it might be dollar 50 it might be dollar 10 or if it is indian rupee you can say it might be under 100 rupees 200 rupees or whatever but you can say yeah i am looking for something under dollar 30 so this are the answer that you can give to the question can i help you or do you need any help now Let's move forward to the next question. The next question is what have you been up to lately? What have you been up to lately? This question means what have you been doing recently, okay? You can answer it in the present perfect continuous. I gave you so many hints. Now please let me uh, let me know the answer to this question in the comment section. Yes, I want to know the answer that you can give to this question in the comment section and the correct answer i will give you in my next video if this video gets good views and good likes definitely i will understand that you guys need a next video on this topic also so please give it a lot of views likes and don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this video